guys, it's just Cuts by Sarah. Today I'm going to show you a tutorial how to make these gorgeous paper clips. Um, I had seen a tutorial, um, I had seen recently, um, a tutorial from, oh, Adele, who's Inky Quill. And, um, um, Adele's really into the crepe paper ranges in the Maggie Homes. And then I started looking into crepe paper and stuff, and I really love them embellishments. And my spotlight has started to bring in a bit of crepe paper, but every time I go, they've got barely any stock. So I was like, I'm going to try it out myself. So I started making my own embellishments. Um, Adele does have a tutorial on how to make your own flares, but I'm also going to show you in this video. And I'm also going to show you how to make the paper clips. Okay, so basically I'm going to, and I've also done, um, so basically these are them. And you can stick anything. Um, I would go for something flat. Um, I know a lot of you, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I know a lot of you would have pearls in their stash, um, especially like these. Or like one-off trinkets. This was an old hair clip that broke. Um, all these resin pieces, which are really easy to get. Uh, Wild Orchid has them. And also you can get them on eBay. Um, like a heap of them. I know for my birthday, my mum got me a big cluster of them. There was like 20 or something for a couple of dollars. And they're all pink, like certain colours. Or you can get a mixed bunch. So... This was the pink ones mum had got me. So as you can see, they're just some different elements you can use from your stash. So that's just bobby pins and you can use any, uh, any size uh, paper clip. And then with the bobby pins, again I've just used those resin pieces. But I've also used... This piece that I got was from Scrap with Friends, which is a heart with bling. Um, I only had one of those and one of each of these little hearts, but they turned out really cute. And they're just bobby pins for your hair. So it was just something a bit different that I now have in my stash. So I'm going to show you how to do these. And also how to do the flares. Um, these are really easy to get. eBay has them um, and you can get like a hundred of them or how many you have. I had some in my stash because I got some bottle caps and they came free with the bottle caps. Um, I haven't used the bottle caps yet but I, I started using the epoxies. Initially I used to use them for clocks. Um, used to buy like the pre-printed um, clocks. And I used to just put it on top. I don't actually have a circle punch. It would be a lot easier with a one inch circle punch. But I don't have it. So I'm just going to go with what I've got. And do it from there. So these are the circles. Um, what I've done. Every time I. Every time I um, spray. I sometimes dip a tag into it. Or I make a scratch paper. This is the scratch paper. And that's how I got that awesome background in the background of that. So that one and the little one. Okay. So basically what I do is um, I just got out some scraps that I had. So I had this piece and this piece. Okay. And I had used my Martha Stewart punch and again used it on the scrap piece. And I also used the Chicka Chat. I think they're called, what are they? Chit Chat Words by Tim Holtz. And they've got tons of words in there. It's like 1,008. Uh, 1,088. So, um, I know there's a bigger size. This is the smaller size. So, I'm going to get started. So, basically, what I would do is I would take my... Um, circle... I'm going to take my circle and what I'm going to do first is I'm actually going to grab um, that piece 
and sort of work out where I'm going to be gluing. I'm thinking I'm actually going to, um, hang on. So I might just cut, I think this was, um, ooh, Tattered Angels and a bit of Heidi Spot. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab that butterfly. And... So I'm just going to glue that down. You don't want it two dimensional. Okay. And then I'm going to grab a chicka chat word so I can pick anyone in out of here. So I might grab Sorry, I'm just so many to choose from um I'm just thinking of something that would be good for my work I might go with time okay. and then what I do is the words are still a bit fat I find so what I will do is I actually make them smaller. Which can be a bit fiddly and you can already get them thin. I know that. I was just using what I had in my stash. Then what you do is you just put that time in the middle of your butterfly. Hopefully you guys can see behind my big fat hand. And I'm just going to move them out of the way. Because they're sticky and they'll stick to my sheet. And then what I do is I grab that circle and I would just put it on top. Actually here. The time's gone crooked. And that's going to drive me nuts if it's not right. Okay, and then I would put that on top. And these are great for pocket letters if you're into that. Um, as an embellishment. And I'm just going to cut them bits off, the excess bits. First. You can still tell it's a butterfly even though you're cutting off some of those elements. And I'm just going to glue it down. I'm just putting glue where the a butterfly is. You don't need to put glue where the rest is. Okay. And I am going to push down. And I actually find instead of pushing on the top, push on the back. So push like here. Okay. And then what I will do now is I will fussy cut that out. I'm not going to do it on camera. So once I fussy cut it, it will look like, you know, one of these type of things. With that one, all I did was use this circle design and I put this gold thin um, paper that I have in my stash underneath so the gold sort of shines through and then I've used this um, butterfly and then art in the middle so each one you can make different or you could just use plain pattern paper or you could just use the um, circles subject okay next I'm gonna do the bobby pins and paper clips with um, the paper clips I had them in my stash 
um, but with the bobby pins, I also had them in my um, bedroom, in my makeup set. So um, I have brown hair but I prefer the blonde bobby pins because a lot of the times I've got blonde streaks so I go for these and I didn't actually like these ones when I got them because I thought they were going to be like I've added some to here but I thought they were going to be like um, these blonde bobby pins but when I picked them up they were like a weird frosted I don't like them, they really stand out in my hair. So, they're great for this. So what you do is you just grab your um, bobby pin or your safety, a uh, safety, your bobby pin or your paper clip and whatever you want to glue on top. Okay, and I'm just going to use my glue. Um, you can use helmers or you could use um, any clear glue that is good for using with multiple items um, like Fabri-Tac you can use with fabric paper oh not even on camera you can use with fabric paper things like that um, it does take some time to glue but basically what I've done is I've just put the glue on the back and put my paper clip down and then I've allowed that to dry for a little bit and then when it dries it will be rock solid like these ones which is great so I'm just gonna leave that up there to dry and again I'm gonna do the same thing again I've got this so I'm just gonna add a dollop of glue to the back and again you're going to use this end not the other end obviously so I'm just gonna put that right in the middle okay I'm just gonna leave that to glue again so like when you've got your grab a couple of different ones. so say I wanted to you could even add one of these epoxy so you could like go like that um, but as you can imagine, so here's my piece of paper. So say I was doing Project Live or a pocket letter or something like that. So just popping it on. Yeah. It's really limitless what you can do to it, what you can do with it. Um, we can do to it. So what I'm going to do next is I've got some pieces here that I've rated my stash. Um, my mum, when she orders medals, she orders it off eBay and gets it for like a hundred for a couple dollars. Um, so I've got a little store of metal here that I could open my own store. So what you could do is um. If you had some metal in your stash, you could even glue that metal piece or that flower. These ones I actually got off Nupa Patel. Thank you, Nupa. Um, I had got them in a rack. But you could even put the epoxy flower in the middle like that. Um, or go with like some big bling. Yeah, right in the middle, and then put that on your paper clip. See, like that. And then glue it on. You know. Um, so you really can do anything you want. So, um, and like I said, even the epoxy ones, these ones. If I just quickly cut it. Um, like I said, it would make life a lot easier if you did have the punch, but I don't, so I just work with what I've got, and I try not to cut the epoxy and just go around, I haven't cut it perfect, I'll cut it perfect off camera, but then I could even put, say, probably not that one, you would need something bigger, like these flowers. 
be careful, these would be quite chunky. So then you could even put that middle you know, and have that there. Or there's a cute little flare. And even with those epoxies, like you can get this pack. I think it's from Bo Bunny. And those epoxies actually come in numerous shapes. They come in love hearts, squares. Um, I've seen them in hexagons. Actually, I think I've got hexagons. And there's a brand here that's well known for shapes. You can get like chevron designed with them. Um, hang on. I'm just looking at what I've got. <laughs> yeah, you can get like chevron and um, all sorts with this. You say it? Empath empathy? Crafts? Um, I do have hexagons somewhere in my stash. I got at the show of Scrap With Friends. Scrap With Friends has like a ton of um, different ones. Can I come up with some, even some tags? Oh my god, my, this is a bit messy with the demos. Um, even with like tags, I do cut some tags out using some um, a Tim Holtz die I had. And what I'm planning to do is stitch it right up the middle, over the top of the butterflies. Um, I have a Fishkas hexagon punch and a Christina Re butterfly punch, which I've used. Um, this is the Christina Repunch I've used. It's a really heavy duty punch. And here's the Fishkus ones. I hunted everywhere for these and I finally found them so I was so happy. It's a spotlight I got them from. And I've just layered that hexagon. I think this was lyric paper, these two. And this one here was a Tim Holtz paper. Um I've got one of his paper pads collage, I think it is. So I've just done some different tags, and this was a nesting heart die, I've got. Um, and another. See, so it's just some different designs. And what you could also do is um, take your bobby pins or your safety pins or whatever and die cut some butterflies. This was a diamond dies um, die I had and I used the solid butterfly and then I think this was something blue paper and then I used that butterfly punch from Martha Stewart um, and then basically again doing the same thing put the glue in the middle of the butterfly and then you can just put your bling in the middle or your pearls or whatever you want and then you just glue it ready to go and you've got a paper butterfly paper clip this saves a lot of money like a lot of those um, paper clips are pretty expensive and you only get like six sometimes eight of them and they may be six eight dollars here they're probably ten but when it's done um focus um here it is and then you can just put your pearls or whatever in the middle which i'll just show you so you can go for like little pearls big pearls whatever you wanted so i'm just going to grab some little ones like go for three little ones one two these are from Kaisercraft I've got a ton of Kaisercraft pearls in my stash that I bought from Scrap Your Socks Off which used to be a local well they're, they're still online line. there used to be a store around the corner I kind of miss the store kind of miss just walking in and 
you know, having a look. And I used to get the Kaisercraft books every month. Now I don't. I, have to wait, I wait till I go to Campbelltown to get them. Which is, a, is every three months when I got my doctor's appointment, so I don't get there. So when I get to Campbelltown, I do a big shop. That's every three months. Okay. So which kind of sucks. So I, I shop online a lot of the times and I get to go um, to the shops, which they don't have heaps of stuff, but it's a bit... It's different stuff. It's like I get to see all the Kaisercraft stuff. Um, well, not all of it. Limited Kaisercraft. And um, they have some Aussie brands like Bella and stuff like that. So it's good. You know, you get to... It's always good to get out of the house too. Um, so here's my paper clip. So, so I keep getting them mixed up. Bobby pin. But you can just... 3D it out and there you are. You can even change the antennas if you wanted to. So there they are. Give them a go and be sure to um, send me a photo or share what you create. And um, I'll see you later. Bye.